It's the most wonderful time of the year. With the coloss head munching and everyone scrunching their faces in fear. Hey internet, I'm Steve and this is Raffo. It's been a minute since my last video. Sorry guys. So we've got some catching up to do with the Sander fan community. First off, Legion. Oh, that was so long ago. The third and final Legion novella, Lies of the Beholder, was released in the Many Lives of Stephen Leeds collection. <coughs> Went to the release party, had a good time. No spoilers, but if you haven't read it, it's an intense and satisfying wrap-up to that story. And if you're paying attention at the end, there's a pretty strong hint that the world of Stephen Leeds is directly connected to another novella by Sanderson, Perfect State. When I found out about that, I was woed. Wowed. I was wowed. And now, boy do I have some questions. Next up, Skyward! <coughs> the first installment of Brandon's newest young adult series, featuring Spensa, a 17-year-old outcast of a human society on the brink of extinction. She dreams of becoming a pilot and redeeming her father's name, freeing her people from the ravages of an alien race. Went to the release party, had a good time. This one is amazing. I literally couldn't put it down from page one. The whole book felt like the Sanderlanch. It felt very Ender's Game-y to me, but like less depressing. I'm incredibly excited for book two, but we'll we'll get to that. Interestingly, this new release is also connected to a pre-existing short story, Defending Elysium, which I've linked in the description below. I won't say how exactly they're connected in case you haven't read either of them, and at this point I'd recommend actually reading Skyward first, but the implications are fascinating. Finally, just last week, that secret project that we've been wondering about for the last nine months was revealed, Children of the Nameless, and it was exactly what many of us expected it to be. Brandon is mixing business with pleasure and has finally written a story for his very favorite social activity, playing Magic the Gathering. You don't need to have any experience with magic to enjoy it, and it's actually available for free at the link in the description, so check it out. And now it's time to look back on everyone's favorite Scadrian holiday that just so happens to coincide with Brandon Sanderson's birthday, Coloss Head Munching Day! The only day of the year when we predictably get a piece of writing from Brandon, the state of the Sanderson. Basically like a year year-end Christmas card summary, plus New Year's goals written for his fans. Stormlight 4 is coming! Brandon will be spending the bulk of next year writing the sequel to Oathbringer, tentatively called The Song of Changes, with a Shonai being the flashback character. It's currently slated for a 2020 or 2021 release, yet another reason to look forward to 2020. The fourth book in the Wax and Wayne series of Mistborn Era 2 may also get written next year. Hopefully Brandon is able to find time for the lost metal between stints on Roshar. The only confirmed release for 2019 is Sky Word 2, Star Sight, scheduled for October. However, we may get another in the form of Death Without Pizza, formerly Death by Pizza, about a pizza delivery man who discovers he's a necromancer. We first heard about this story back in 2010, but it's basically had no progress since then. As of this last state of the Sanderson, it's officially on the front burner. In an increasingly common approach by Brandon, he's teamed up with another author, Peter Orulian, and has changed the pizza delivery guy into an American metalhead living in London. From what I could dig up, back in 2013, Brandon's take on necromancy was with each death and return, the reanimated person and become stronger, like Warbreaker on a loop. That concept, taken together with heavy metal, could be really interesting. Two drafts are done, and soon they should be looking for a publisher during this year. We've also got a brand new story announced, the original. Fugitives get cloned, and the clone goes after the cloney with the promise that if they take them out, they can replace them. Like Snapshot, but instead of real people in a fake world, it's fake people in a real world. It might turn into Brandon's first foray into audio adventures, so it might end up being another collaboration. Apocalypse Guard is still getting worked on, but the collaboration with Dan Wells is apparently making it weird. Alcatraz 6 should be on its way soon, and the final graphic novel of White Sand may be coming out in 2019. In fact, Amazon currently has it listed as being released on June 25th. Apparently work is continuing on the graphic novel of Dark One, and there's enthusiasm for a TV show with an impressive showrunner already attached. I will say that tidbits and goals for this story got me really excited, so I hope the wheels really get turning on it this year. Speaking of film projects, Snapshot already has a pretty excellent screenplay, as does Emperor's Soul, Mistborn, and A Way of Kings TV series, with screenplays for Steelheart and Legion currently being worked on. The only thing moving into production that Brandon has been involved with is The Wheel of Time. 
which has been greenlit by Amazon into a full series. I've just started reading The Wheel of Time personally for the very first time, currently working through book four, so I'm pretty pumped to see how it'll turn out. Apart from books, there's also other merchandise that's available, like Mistborn and Reckoner's board games, which I want, gorgeous jewelry, which I also want, stunning coins from Mistborn Era 1 and 2, which I have, and the ever-enjoyable Kaladin album. Links to all of these are in the description, so check them out if you need some super last-minute Christmas gifts. Speaking of gifts, I participated in the Secret Sazed gift exchange for the first time this year. I spent altogether too much time and money making these full sets of the actual Allomantic medals from Mistborn Era 1. I got enough metal to make a whole bunch of sets, so multiple members of my family are getting them too. In fact, James, Kristen, Ev, stop watching this video 20 seconds ago. I'm still waiting to see what I'm gonna get for Secret Sazed, so check out my Instagram or Facebook page where I'll post pictures. That way, you can see and find out.